everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. Welcome to Driving with John Chow. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, I had a pretty good time. Uh, yeah, it was a good weekend, everything. Uh, calls and coffee, lunch and stuff. Anyway, I want to continue on my series on starting an email marketing business. And uh, this week, I want to cover probably the most important aspect of, uh, of your email and that is the autoresponder. And unfortunately, the autoresponder is uh, something, believe it or not, the majority of people who have an email list do not utilize. And that is a real, real shame because, uh, because there's a lot of money to be made with the autoresponder. In fact, uh, most, of your, most of your money will be made with an autoresponder. But uh, the truth of the matter is the majority of people who or the majority company or people who have started an email list, whether it's for their business or for the blog or, or whatever, they tend to only use it when they have something to send out to their subscribers. Right? So a lot of the time, someone would sign up for an email list and then they, ne then they never get an email from them until maybe a while down the road and then they wonder, who is this person? Did I sign up for this person? No, I didn't. Spam. <laughs> yeah, that happens quite a bit. That happens quite a bit. So, and if you're not using an autoresponder, the, you're not really taking advantage of all the services that your, your service provider, your, your email service provider like Aweber or Constant Contact offers. You have all the features they offer, ways to capture the name, ways to store the name, ways to sort through the name, ways to segment the list, that kind of stuff. The most powerful feature that Aweber or Constant Contact or any other email service provider could uh, provides is the autoresponder. So you definitely need to set that up. In a nutshell, an autoresponder is exactly that. It's a series of automatic email that is sent to your subscribers after they sign up to your list. So once they enter the email address, the autoresponder instantly sends them an email saying, the first one would say, welcome to my list. Uh, my name is John Xiao. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff like that. So welcome email. And then the next day or next uh, few days or whatever time you set, the second email will then go out and then the third, fourth, to how many as you want. Right? So that is an auto autoresponder. Right. Now what's the purpose of autoresponder? It's designed to do three things. Three things. The first is to build a relationship between you and your subscriber. That's the number one goal. You want to build a relationship uh, to find out so they can find out who you are, find out more about them, that kind of stuff. It's because marketing is all about relationship building. That's that's all marketing is. If you really think about it, that's, that's all it is, right? So that's the first goal. The second goal is to establish you as the go-to expert, as the person that can be trusted, that you know what you're talking about, right? So, uh, and in my example, uh, all the responders does that would be talking about, here is my book, I published two books. Here they are. You get them from Amazon. See, establish me as a brand that you know I'm a published author, right? So uh, here's TV shows I've been on, interviews I've done, that kind of stuff. Anything, establish trust, build your brand, establish you as the go-to authority. That's the second goal. The third goal is to recommend products and services to solve your subscribers' problem. Now they subscribe to you for a reason, and whatever that reason was when you first did your, uh, you know, did your, did your free and did your center say sign up to my list to get updates on what it is you talk about. Uh, so let, in my case, let's say how to start a blog. Right? I would say how about how do I solve the problem? I recommend products to help them to start a blog. So hey, well first thing is obviously you're going to need web hosting. So I recommend Hostgator, right? and here's a coupon. Just from me to you to help you save some money, give you a discount, and I'll even set up the blog for you by offering you a free WordPress installation service. So give you benefit, save you some money. You you think I'm a great guy because I'm helping you out, and I make money because Hostgator gives me a commission for finding them a new customer, and Hostgator is happy because they get a new customer. Subscribers happy, they got a new blog. I'm happy, I made some money. All right. So that's win win win. So those are the three goals of the autoresponder. All right. So. The key is, uh, some people ask, well, okay, so the first email is to build a relationship, second email is to uh, uh, establish you as a name brand, and the third email is to recommend. They go, no, no. 
you do all three all three in every single email so my first email will say my name is John Xiao welcome and in this email I'm gonna send you a series of lessons that kind of stuff and so and the reason I give you the lesson because I'm, I, I'm a pleasure author blah 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 and you want to somebody and then I get in PS you want to start a blog I'm host my host getter check it out here's a free coupon that's the email and then when the when the next email come it repeats the same it repeats pretty much the same thing right? so that's how it works now how do you set up an autoresponder well I recommend your autoresponder basically and here's what I talk about last week when I talk about changing the uh, the delivery of your me changing the medium changes value changing your delivery changes value so my autoresponder just mirrors my free incentive like my free incentive is, is a ebook let's say I, let's say I have an autoresponder series on starting a blog obviously my ebook is how to set up gonna be how to set up a blog my free incentive you know enter your name enter your email address get my free ebook on how to set up a blog how to how to get traffic to a blog how to make money from a blog right so you get the ebook and here's the thing about why you want your autoresponder to reinforce your ebook or basically just basically rehash exactly what your ebook exactly what your ebook wrote about because the majority of people who actually download the ebook they don't finish reading it that's that's just the way it is 90 percent of people who buy a book at the bookstore don't finish it they start reading it and then they some along the way they'll quit all right so if your ebook is say more than 20 pages the majority of people are not going to finish reading it right so they're not going to get everything so this is where the autoresponder could come in so you got your email basically is just reinforcing every single lesson so in my case the email is just a repeat of the ebook but to the uh to the person subscribe to the subscriber it's gonna seem like brand new email <laughs> it's 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 that that's how it works you might think, i heard this before i go no no they're gonna think it's brand new hey this is good stuff i like it and so that's so there's no need to think up oh hmm how do we respond what am i gonna write about email uh, letter number one email number two number three number four basically take your free center and just basically all right chapter one that's the first email chapter two second email reinforcing all that part and then and then make your offer you know and make your, your solution that you're going to provide for them to help solve their problem so that and that that's uh that's a quick and easy way to create an autoresponder series and uh, like i said it it's going to be where your money comes from that's going to be that's going to make you the money so if you don't have one get start start right now to uh create it okay so uh, that, that's it for today. Uh, I'll, tomorrow, I'll have some other stuff for you to share with you. And uh, so hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell. And once I get the video up, you'll get notified, okay? In the meantime, give me a thumbs up with this video. Uh, please like and share it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.